So you join us this morning live down at the normal government funded COVID test site. And now all of a sudden, the world will turn up, no one knows anything, no one's directing traffic, and it's an absolute yes, shambles are. this morning. And I'm being a... Sorry. So you've got the control... You've got this in hand, yeah? I've yeah. passed on the information. Yeah. Morning everyone, here we are people live um, at the normal testing centre but what people haven't told anyone is where the quick 30 minute test centre is so here we are, got coach loads. Here it is here, look. Everyone being made to turn round. So they're being told that they can't accept any normal vehicles, only HGVs. So a lot of upset people that are all travelled up here being told that they're going to get 30-minute tests. This test site here is two days for a COVID test to be turned around. Now we spoke to a communications guy who refused to um, answer any of our questions and asked us to contact the DFT press office. Obviously we did contact the DFT press office and they weren't very forthcoming. They didn't have a clue. When we put to them the army were coming up to test, they said no, we don't have any information on that. So all these people are now all queuing along with half the world to get a COVID test that they think they're going to get in 30 minutes. Big long queues. That's what everyone's been doing for days, queuing. No organisation, no one knows what's going on. Total chaos, as usual. You'll see all these cars turning around there because they haven't got appointments. Don't know where to go. Just get your facts right. Do I? Yeah. All right, what are the facts then? What's, okay, what are the facts then? That you haven't got a clue what's going on? Do you? Why are they all sat in there then? If you've got a clue, why are they all sat in there? How exactly, you want to run away? All these cars all turning around, being made to turn around. All organised, organised chaos, I think it is. Absolutely. Here we go. All organised chaos there, look. <laughs> Here we are, look. Turn round, doesn't know where it's going. Coach coming back round again, doesn't know where it's going. <laughs> Organised chaos.
Here we are, coach off it goes there. All them people on it. Apparently I've got my facts wrong. That guy there says I've got my facts wrong, so. Yeah, okay. This is at Manston, at the normal test centre, but obviously everyone's been sent up to this test centre. No information been put out by DFT. A lot of drivers still don't really know what's going on in there when they're going to be tested. But they're not going to get their test in 30 minutes, they're going to have to wait two days. So here we go. Wow, there you go. Absolutely, one minute. They're going to go in there and they're going to have to wait two days for a COVID test result. But they're not telling them that. So all these people are going to be here for Christmas. They're going there because this is where they've been sent on a map. But the problem is there's a quick testing centre but they're not telling anyone where it is. These aren't lorry drivers, these are other people that want to get home. They won't be travelling home for Christmas, they'll still be here. <laughs> So they've all booked on the COVID test for the normal test centre and ain't going to get their test back for two days. So you're going to be stuck here for Christmas, mate. Here it is. Not driving home for Christmas. It's nothing to do with the police. The police don't want anything to do with it. They've all got codes, but it's going to take two days for their tests to be processed. Here it is. Here's the guys down there. There's James or whatever his name is. He wouldn't give us any information. We were just trying to try and put some information out to everyone. Where is he? He's, he's run off now. He doesn't want to know. Morning. Do you want to tell me where the other test centre is? Can't tell me, no? They don't want to tell us where the other test centre is, so for all the people watching that want to find out where the quick test centre is, it, we don't know. 
they do they've got a new test that they're running down here so it's, it's a 15 minute result one it's up a load of tests got shipped down overnight Here we are. I'm just going to walk you down here to show you how long this traffic really, really is. Organised chaos in the UK as usual. If you think Dover's bad, you want to come and have a look up here. Traffic is at a standstill. All these cars just all waiting, all to get in. All these people been sent up here, no codes. <laughs> it's organised chaos. All the, these are people that want to go back. They want to go home. These are all people that want to go out of the country, that want to just go home for Christmas. And they're all... I wasn't laughing, Donna. That was somebody else walking past me laughing. I'm laughing at what a shambles this is. That these people are in charge of um, government are throwing loads of money at this testing centre, and they nothing quick about this test centre. But the people are just stuck. All the way down, we show you. All the way down here. All the way down here, all the way down here, right the way down here, right the way down here, hundreds of cars all just stuck down here. Yeah, we'll show you, look, all that way, go around that way, all down here, see them all there, and here they are. Take a look at the cause, Helen. Yep, absolutely. But this testing centre has been here all week. It's been here for months. It's been set up for months, so. They're all there trying to get a COVID test, but a lot of them haven't got bookings and they're, and they're not being told where to go for the quick test centre. This is a massive queue for people trying to get COVID tests that haven't got any COVID tests booked. So everyone from Dover Port is now being sent up here to Manston to have a test. All these cars are pulling out now to try and get around the the chaos. Where the traffic go? 
Here we are here. Our man here is going to walk up and accuse me of being rude because I asked him where the other testing centre was and he wouldn't tell me. It is nuts. He's a communications officer there, his name's um, James, I think. Police there. Here's the chaos. There's the police. Police are there. And here in the background, the happy lorry drivers. to be able to walk the way around. You alright? How are you? You're yeah, good? You did on as well. Oh yeah, we just got kicked off there. You got kicked off, did you? Oh. Well, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't. So what happened was, everyone, it was just chaotic when everyone all rocked up and then yeah. it was just hectic. And then um, I said, oh, what, do you want to... So what, what's happening is all these lot think they're getting the 30-minute test when actually it's the two-day test. So they're not actually telling them that. Right. So they're all expecting a result in... 30 minutes yeah. and I said well do you want to tell us where the rapid test is oh no we can't tell you that's a secret so this is, are you sure this is yeah yeah this thing? is this is the two day thing this is the normal that's what it's always yeah, here yeah, is it yeah, yeah yeah this is this is what's been this is what's been here for weeks so these guys think they're getting they away they all think they're getting away they ain't getting away they're here for Christmas bloody hell so and and there's a press officer from the DFTTF yeah who, and I said um, well why can't you give us any points he said I can't you have to call the press officer so no, I the press office so and said um I said to the press office, um, the army are on site. Oh, no, they're not. I went, yeah, they I said, I'm just taking photos of them. 
Yeah. No, they're not. No, they're not. BBC reported military. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got pictures. Yeah. I've got pictures yesterday. We were sat in that car park there. The whole problem is. And I said, oh, can we go in? And they went, no. I said, yeah. so if I book a test, can I go in? They went, no. Yeah. Ridiculous. And I'm like, so all these normal people can go in. Yeah. But we can't. That's one way I could try and get a test. We've already tried. Have you tried? Yeah, yeah, I've tried. And get, the problem is, they. <laughs> It just doesn't make any sense because obviously all the people, all the police down at Dover last night, yeah. massive queues down in Dover last night. Yeah, I was there, Staples. Yeah, and it was huge, massive. Yeah. And the problem was they blocked the A2 off right away up. Uh, all the, the, the lorry drivers, drivers yeah. and they wouldn't move. But, and then but they're getting to the end of the queue going, well, why can't I get on there? Because you haven't got a COVID test. Yeah. And they said, well, why can't I get a COVID test? You, you have to come up to Manston. So they've obviously all logged on to the website last night, yeah. booked a normal two day COVID test. But no one's told them. They put the wrong test. Well, no, because nobody's given them any information. Yeah. They're going to be pretty angry, aren't they? Well, look, there's an angry man there because he's been up and down like a loyo. Going red. Yeah. You spoken to him? Did you speak? I've just said, yeah, talk, yeah, he's good. I'll go and good. Him. Where are you from, anyway? Male. Daily Smile. Uh, you Daily. can use in pictures. Oh, right, cool. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Uh, My mate, Brit. have you you've already been in once, haven't you? You speak in English? Yeah. What's happened? Tell me, you've been messing around? You've been sent up and down, up and down, up and down? You know, I have more than 10 hours I wait here. Yeah. I booking online the test, and when I, when yeah. I wait after one hour in the queen, yeah. you know, I need to go there. Yeah. You didn't, you didn't. Okay. Oh, right. yeah. And after that, when I stay there, he sent me here, so it's fucking bullshit. Have you had a test yet? No test? Are I you? Know, I, I make appointment online you know going in this queue you yeah so that test takes two yeah. days to complete can I, can I take a quick pic can i see this yeah so that test is going to take two days to complete you know that uh, so you won't get a result for two days. two days on that that that's how that's the yeah, process in time that's the, the quick test? Huh? they won't tell us where I need going you need to ask them but they won't tell us <laughs> ask that guy there he'll tell you where to <laughs> right. see what i'm trying to say yeah how do we know from that picture, though? I know, trust me, because I booked a load for the people that were stuck last night. This is a two-day test. Yeah. You ask how long a two-day... The COVID, the normal COVID test within the government is two days. And you get a result within two days. Yeah, liars, mate. Liars. Who is? Everybody. Are they? Why? Yeah. Talk to they us. Why? All facts. Yeah. Nobody wants to do test. No one... Nobody. Each place, stand up. Yeah, that's down there. Yeah. I'll give you the I've, I've got, I've got, I've got my car. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I'll park down there at the moment. I might come off. We're just live at the moment. So there's like 500 people all commenting. Oh, I've right. got loads of comments. Uh, there's lots of people who waiting for tests last night. Yeah. So there's loads of quotes. But it's just like, it's just chaos. Because like you said, they're not giving any, they're just going, oh, you've got a code. Yeah, get in that queue then. Yeah. But they're not, everyone's expecting a test with it. Excuse me, mate. Answer, does he? Can you answer one simple question? Hello? Excuse me? Hello? Hundreds. Excuse me? Excuse me? Hello? Can we ask you one question? The testing centre here, that's not the rapid testing centre, is it? And it takes how long for a result? Two days. But it's you, not the rapid It's not the rapid test centre, no? Can you... We're, make, we're trying to help you. Some people... No, no comment or no, it's not the rapid test? It's not... Yeah. We need to find out, don't we? Yeah. See, they've all got their codes, but they've booked a normal test. Let's see if it drives Are you going for a test?
he works here. Can you not answer our question, mate, no? Hello? This is how rude they are. They, no one wants to give anyone any information at all. So this is somebody representing Manston Airport, whoever it is, right guard security. And we've just asked, is this the queue for the rapid testing centre? And he won't answer the question. Can you not just answer the one question, yo, mate? Absolutely crazy. Chatting to drivers best there, no more. Yeah, because it's queues. Let's go on. Just ask them if someone know, might know. They're expecting a result within 30 minutes. A lot of these overseas ones were all coming up asking, thinking that this is a 30 minute. It took me day, two days to get my turn. Right, that's how long it takes. Here we are. So you've got some testing. I'll go without the camera. Here you ask him. Well, can they talk to us? Can they talk to us? Is this a rapid testing centre? Are you working in the rapid testing centre, mate? You're not. You're working in a normal testing centre. You're working at Manston as a, test, as a NHS tester. Oh, it's all right. So, people watching this who, who live locally, can you just confirm this test centre, this is not the rapid testing centre, correct? So we're at Manson Airport, just on the outskirts. Um, where, the, where the testing centre has been all, you know, for the past couple of weeks, the government funded test centre, could you, because the security here are refusing to answer and we just want to confirm this is the testing centre, so can somebody, can somebody confirm that that's been down here, where we are at the moment, what testing centre this is and how long it took for you to get your, your result. I am correct, Jade, yep, yep, that's people saying that. So that coach has been around a couple of times now. Yep, there's loads of coaches, all expecting to go in there, look. Are they coming to... They're coming to get tested. But they're, they're from Romania, right? Yeah. So what are they doing? Well, they all want to go home. They've been on holiday? They've, no, they've been stuck here for two days. How come they're in the... In the coach? Coaches? Yeah. Because they couldn't get on the boat. They must have vehicles left somewhere. Right? No, they all live... They've been, they're people that put their coaches, you know, like when they pay their tickets to go home. Yeah. They're Romanian workers that want to go home for oh, Christmas. Yeah, just, just on the... Yeah. Should we yeah, get on the coach and chat to them? Yeah, yeah. No, I, <laughs> I took pictures last night and we're all sleeping on the coach for two days. Yeah. Have you, have you got a mask? I do, yeah. I've got a mask on there because I'm not saying you should physically care for them, do you? Yeah. I reckon... Well, we'll find out here, just confirm that test, that what test it is and then go from the lower end to me anyway. Well, I want to find the rapid test and then go from the lower end. Doesn't seem to be honest, that one. Come on. Can we get in there? Look in. Yeah, I'll go on the hill there. You can go around the back and see lots of distance and then know what to do. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me? James? Hello, Mr. Communications Officer, excuse me, can I ask you a question? Can you just confirm one thing? I'm, I'm not quoting you, we just want to clarify something. This test centre here is a local testing, is a local testing centre. Yes, it's, Correct. It's not good. Right, the guy from the Daily Mail, well, absolutely. And I wasn't trying to get shirty with you. All these people have been sent out from Dover last night expecting all these people, the foreign people, think they're going to get a test within 30 minutes pop off down to Dover and they're not are they 
I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, so you need to speak no, to no, the lo- the I don't know the answer. But the local testing centre don't do rapid tests. The local testing centre is, is a local one. It's yeah. not the drive, so, not the front drive. Right. But the other people, so the Romanian people, all the foreign people that want to go home, that need a COVID test, what should, but where do they get... Well, they, they, well, I don't know. They need, they need to think through... Who? I don't know. But who, who's giving this information? What I'm trying to say is, well, we're, we're trying to help you with a... No, you need to speak to the press office. Right, but surely the press office is a yeah. This is a local yeah. it's not for truck drivers. Or rapid testing. Yeah. Right, it's not the 30 minute test. No. Right. Bear with me two seconds. There's a guy down there who wants to just clarify. He's working for the mail. Yeah, he wants to speak to the press. All oh, right, he just wanted to clarify that that was a. That's not. Yeah, yeah that's oh, correct. Sorry. You're correct. That's cool, thank you. So there we are. That's not the rapid testing centre. So all these people are coming down. <laughs> Dude! We're just going to go and have a look over the top of the system. Oh, right. He's confirmed that that is just a local testing centre yeah. and he's a communications officer for DFT. I've never checked the number I have now. I've got the road. So I'm just going to head to the car and find it now. I'll tell you where I found it. It's in your Yeah, yeah, the traffic uh, <laughs> looks all right now, but um, it not. was okay for me coming in. Yeah, but it's moving quite quickly. Right, we're going to come off for a bit, guys, and we're going to go and find uh, another test. We're going to go and try and find the rapid testing centre, right?